and you rightly said see what's happening the way i see is in the last 1 to 2 years the number of people served uh, or covered has increased from say 12 crore in india to 23 crore so things are moving in the right direction possibly a lot more needs to be done right and you touched upon that uh, there's a large sector of underserved se- uh, segment technology is helping uh, bridge that gap a little so uh, would you like to talk a little bit more about how technology intermediation and digitization is going to help this it's already helping to some extent but how uh, we see future sure i think uh, technology in itself has also undergone a lot of transformation mm-hmm. earlier we were accustomed to to enabling a sale we are now seeing the move to or shift to driving the sale yeah and a lot of the insurance buying at least in the in the aspirational middle class etc is happening by doing self research online mm-hmm. by comparing online by trying to understand product differentiators mm-hmm. by mapping it to their goals mm-hmm. i think technology plays a huge role in enabling this section of consumers to become more prepared better prepared for the buying in terms of information gathering in terms of comparison and then also assisting in a frictionless sale process mm-hmm. right i think a lot of consumers primary grows would be the amount of friction in some of these transactions be it a home loan be it insurance buying the amount of paper and the amount of processes are often where you have a lot of drop off certain i think today with the regulator also allowing for e kyc c kyc mm-hmm. enabling new rules and new uh, processes is something that now technology has to drive in the insurance organization and of course we have to drive it whilst enabling a change we have to coexist with the older processes because some of the older generations and some of the older intermediaries will continue to do business in the traditional way so that's right. how the technology team has to step up to the plate and deliver 